Osteoporosis is a condition that affects the bone itself. The density of the bone in this condition becomes low and patients become at risk of having fractures. Usually this condition affects older population and women more than men. Some of the risk factors for patients to get osteoporosis include tobacco use and alcohol use and chronic use of steroids. So a patient who takes any type of systemic steroids, most commonly prednisone, would be at higher risk of having osteoporosis at an early age. So if you have osteoporosis, what to do? First thing, make sure that you have good diet with good intake of calcium and vitamin D on a daily basis. Second, exercise. And the most beneficial type of exercise would be non-weight bearing exercise. You can try treadmill, walking, aerobics, resistant exercise. They all help the bone health. And third would be medication that we use for osteoporosis. There is different classes of medication we use for osteoporosis. The most commonly used class would be biphosphonate. And there are different type of medication under this class. The most commonly prescribed one for osteoporosis would be a pill called alendronate or Fosamax. This is a medication that you take once a week. It's a not an everyday medication. One pill once a week, and you usually take it with a big glass of water, and patient is supposed not to lay down for at least 45 minutes after taking the medication. The most common side effects of Fosamax would be GI upset, stomach ache, and nausea. Most of the time it's tolerated, but patient needs to be aware that the GI upset could be something significant. The same medication could be given in an IV form, and that's oftentimes would be used in patients who cannot tolerate pills. A second class of medication would include something called prolia, which is an injection that it's given under the skin and it's used once every six months. This needs frequent blood check and every time patient would need to take the injection, they need to come to the rheumatology office, take the injection, get their blood work checked and follow up after six months. A bone density scan needs to be repeated once every two years at least to monitor the improvement of the density of the bone.